Okay, so watchOS 9.3.1 is here and this update comes about three weeks since the official release of watchOS 9.3 and for me on my Apple Watch Ultra, you can see the update size here. It comes in at exactly 141 megabytes. Now, I do have to show you my device that you are seeing here because if we go into the Apple Watch section and go to general and go all the way down to where it says profiles, you'll be able to see there that I have the watchOS 9 or watchOS beta profiles. So something was good about this update in the sense that I was able to update regardless of whether I have the profile or not so if you do have the Apple beta profile and you I want to update to it this is an update that you can see or if you want to update to it and you have you've removed the beta profile you can also do that which is something that's good with this update now if we go into the settings of my device and go to general and go to software update or rather if we go to the about this watch section you can see the version is 9.3.3 one of course and the build number that we have is 20s664 so it has been updated from the previous one but something that i would like to let you know of is that this is not all that apple released today in fact if we go to the apple operating systems page you will see that we today apple released ios 16.3.1 iPad OS 16.3.1 and Mac OS 13.2.1, Watch OS 9.3.1, of course, this is the video for that. And we have TV OS 16.3.2. So this one is ahead of the rest, but all these updates and more I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you wanna get to know more about your device and what they can do, definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, according to Apple, when it comes to watchOS 9.3.1, in terms of some of the new changes that are here or updates that are here, this update adds security and bug fixes and important security patches. So it's mainly uh, like when Apple releases a point of a point update, so 9.3, the point one usually indicates security or bug fixes and this update does have quite a number of bug fixes and if we go to the Apple security page, this is a page that you can find easily on the internet. We just refresh it in case it's been renewed. So you'll be able to see here all the security updates that have, have been released today and among that you notice that we have watchOS 9.3.1. Unfortunately, I've been monitoring this page for quite some time now and you notice that when it comes to watchOS 9.3.1, it says details available soon. So you can see it's available for the Apple Watch Series 4 and later, but unlike most of these other operating systems where you have a clickable link to be able to read and see what they patched in that operating system or that update this one the details are coming pretty soon so it could be that apple is trying to give people more room and a window to be able to update before it discloses what had been uh, compromised i'm guessing that it's most probably something that has to do with core services image io canal which is the core operating systems and sometimes webkit for connectivity might have been compromised since those are the usual patches that we get when it comes to apple watch updates so that could be an issue and if you want to get the latest security updates well you have watch os 9.3.1 now also for some of the updates and some of the regions where this was an issue mainly if you go into your settings and then you go to where it says sos so you notice here it says sos if you click there and you go all the way down you notice there's crash detection and it says call after severe crash i have it enabled and if you have it enabled as well on your device and you're having this this feature call multiple times even though you are not involved in a crash some people were having this call when you when they were going like on a roller coaster or on some sort of a ride so apple has done some patches to that where this is no longer just making random calls to 911 or to emergency services so this is something that's definitely going to help you if that was an issue and also when it comes to siri especially siri stability 
there have been fixes when it comes to that so if you're having issues where some prompts or some find my and other functions were not working properly this is something that has been fixed for now with this update and if you do play music using the apple music app or using the spotify app i'll be happy to let you know that i tested the airpods connectivity they seem to be connecting as usual and there is no lag so if that was an issue for you in the previous update like some people mentioned then that has been patched up now this is how the update came in for me you can see it's a pretty simple update my watch faces are working pretty good and one thing that i wanted to show you with this update if we go to the battery section you can see you know i had my watch charged up while i was researching and testing out some of the new features and changes but i'll show you my battery health here so we just go down you can see here my maximum capacity is at 100 percent and that's something that's impressive about this apple watch ultra because you know i'm not charging it all the time but because it lasts like two on and sometimes like three days you find that the amount of charge cycles that it has compared to my previous apple watch series is lower so my maximum capacity is expected to last or or you know drop after a longer period of time compared to the previous series of the apple watch so battery wise i'm yet to test it out since i just updated to it it will take me about a week or so to get a hang of it to get to know what you know what's the average battery life that i'm getting on my apple watch ultra and performance wise so far from the time i've updated up to now i can't really complain it looks okay and solid when it comes to watch os 9.3.2 like i mentioned when you see here on the apple software page you can see that apple has already released tvos 16.3.2 so it's already a point ahead of the rest so it could mean that maybe very soon we could be getting watch os 9.3.2 in perhaps a week or two and also since we're waiting for the next beta update of watchOS 9.4 beta 1 that is also expected in a week or two we could even see it as soon as mid this week so that's about it for me when it comes to this update do keep in mind that we are waiting for the next big watchOS update which is watchOS 10 that's coming sometime in june this year at wwdc 2023 if you like this video definitely do leave a like and subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace